So we have let this garage kind of go to pot here. It's an absolute disaster. Hi. So we're starting to clean it up. Say hi. So we're starting to clean the garage up. We are going to be putting rabbits in here. We just got us a pair of breeding rabbits. So we're going to get them put in here so that they don't, their water doesn't freeze and make them a little bit easier to keep for at least through this winter. And then we'll decide what we're going to do with them later. But that is what our job is for today. We are starting to clean up this garage to get these rabbits in here. So I'll let you guys check that out. set up. We've got this big cage that has four of them in it. And then we have Winter's cage by himself. But we finally decided on names for these two. I don't know if you can see them. That's Clyde. And down there, the girl is Bonnie. Clean yourself. Hi guys. Claude's just like. We decided to take a little break from cleaning. Um, it's actually the next day. We came up, we were gonna cut a Christmas tree up here in the forest. Um, however, four wheel drive on our car is not working and so we can't make it up the hill to get there. So we stopped where the pavement ends. Get out! No. Trying to hit me with a snowball. So we stopped where the pavement ends and we're just gonna play for a little bit. And we'll have to come back after we get our four wheel drive fixed and or bring another car but we'll show you us playing around a little bit and then we'll get back to cleaning some more
to finish in this garage up real quick. We're not gonna get it as clean and tidy as we'd hoped because we left the dogs in here for a little bit and came back to find that mess. I left a garbage bag sitting out. Dogs don't usually get into it, but for some reason they ripped into that. So I gotta get that garbage all cleaned up and then we're just gonna get enough of this cleaned up to get my car back in here because it is freezing outside and I'm tired of scraping my windows in the morning. So I want my car back in the garage. So we're gonna get that tidied up and then I'll give you a little intro of plans of what we're gonna do with these rabbits. Eight bucks an hour is what I'm worth. Putting shingles on houses that I can't afford. All right, we got both cars in. Trash is mostly picked up. That is a ton of trash in that can. We gotta remedy that and start getting our trash picked up more often. But anyway, I wanted to show you these rabbits one more time. So this here is our breeding male that we just got. And underneath him is our female. They've been given the names of Bonnie and Clyde. And then we've actually had this one. This is the one over here. Let me get you a little closer so you can see. This guy is the one that the kids have been showing in 4-H. But he is also a male. So the two white ones are New Zealand whites. This other one below, our female, is half New Zealand, half Rex. And so we're gonna breed her to the New Zealands. Um, we'll probably breed her with this, with Clyde first and then out of that litter, we might breed some of those ones with the other one that the kids have been showing. Kind of work our way towards, a little bit more towards those New Zealand whites we like. But we're going to start breeding them soon, I believe. My plan is to do it in the next couple weeks, and we'll get some, whatever you call baby rabbits, bunnies, kits, I think. And we'll get some of those for springtime that we can sell or raise them up for meat for us in the summer once they get full grown. Um, but yeah, that's our plan with them. We're, we've raised the rabbits just to show for 4-H, just more as pets because the kids wanted to. Um, we have not ever raised them for meat, so we don't really know what we're doing with it. Um, I've hunted rabbits in the past, never gotten much with them. I mean, I, I can dress a rabbit butcher one I'm not worried about that but we're not sure what we're gonna do about cooking them if we end up going that route or if we'll end up just selling all the babies for other people to enjoy but that is our plan with the rabbits see where things go kind of a new adventure for us we've been mostly with the cows as far as our meat and some pigs but we're gonna try a little bit of rabbit see how that goes one thing to also note with these rabbits is that we have them all in separate cages. So these two at the top are both males. The two at the bottom are both females. I don't know what we're gonna do with this one. That's the funniest looking rabbit I've ever seen. That rabbit's not good for anything. Except for looking ridiculous. Look at that thing. Ridiculous looking rabbit. But we got the two females at the bottom, two males at the top. We keep the males separated because the word on the street is that they will fight and kill each other because they're territorial. Also keep the females separated because people have told us that they'll fight and kill each other. I guess rabbits just like to kill each other. And then we don't put the males and the females next to each other because they can supposedly breed through the walls of that cage unless it's a solid wall. So that's why we're keeping them the way we've got them um, down the road. When we figure out what we're doing, we might put a little bit more of them together. But for now, that's where we're at. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you.